creating a custom icon for the icon-based navbar in Brightspace, a Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. Your course should have easy access to all of the instructional tools that your students need. One of the great ways to get them access to these is to create external links on your navbar or menu options that when students can click on them will take you to other tools that you're using. Two examples are a course calendar, or even your class syllabus, so that when students are in the class, they can simply click here and a syllabus that might have been created in Google Docs or Microsoft Word will open for the students right there. So we're going to see how to add these external links to your navbar, but then we're going to go a step further. And if you're using the icon based navbar, we're going to see how to create a custom icon for those links. So I'm going to change my navbar right here by going to the actions option here on the right hand side and clicking these three dots and choosing edit this navbar. And I've already added a couple of custom links so what I want to do is I want to show you what it looks like if I'm using the icon based navbar instead of the text based and you can see that what it does is just choose this generic icon this web icon um, for both my course calendar and my class syllabus. And if I'm using the icon based navbar because my students are not strong readers, then having two of the same icon doesn't quite help them get to what I need them to be able to see when they're there. So we're going to add a new link to this navbar and we're going to set up a custom icon for it at the same time. We're going to do that by clicking here where it says add links and then choosing create custom link here at the top. Since I've already added a course calendar, I'll just go ahead and call this one course calendar two. And then you'll simply want to paste in the web address to your calendar. For more on how to do that, please see our videos on sharing a Google calendar. So we're going to scroll down to where we have the option to choose the icon. Now there is a button here that says choose existing but it doesn't quite open the menu you would expect, like the ability for me to search from all the different icons that Brightspace offers. So that's not the one I'm going to choose. Instead, I'm going to choose the option to upload my own icon. And that means I have to have my picture already found and downloaded and saved on my computer. So I'm going to pause here for just a moment. And what I've done is just a Google search for a calendar icon. I'm just looking for a picture that would fit nicely up on my nav bar. And I like this one here where the calendar's in the blue circle. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to right click on it where it appears over here in the larger window. And I'm going to choose Save Image As. And then I'm going to save that right there to my downloads folder. Now let's go back to Brightspace where we were trying to build that custom and choose upload. We're going to find that file that I just downloaded and saved and choose open. And then I'm going to click create. Now you'll see that I have a brand new calendar option here called Course Calendar 2. I'm going to choose to add that to my nav bar. And then I'm going to remove the original one that just has that generic icon. And I'm going to drag my new one into that preferred position before I click Save and Close. So that's how to add an external link to your navbar to get your students to those other applications you want them to access quickly and choose a custom icon for anyone using the icon based navbar.